Hey guys, this is Woody from Throne Digital Sheep and welcome to News Roundup. This is where we give you a brief roundup of the weekly news on ThroneDigitalSheep.com. Star Fox finally takes flight returning on the Wii U with motion based aiming, HD visuals and a variety of vehicles that your spaceship can transform into from tank to helicopter, making those levels challenging and fun. The mechanics to transform was originally planned for the Star Fox 2 game on the SNES. Studio Plus and Nintendo's popular dev studio will be collaborating to produce the title. And on other news, Mario & Luigi's Paper Jam Bros has been revealed at last week's E3 games. This game mashes the worlds of Paper Mario and Mario & Luigi. The game will have you working with characters from both of the world, from 3D to 2D to overcome obstacles and save the day. If that hasn't satisfied your Mario needs then you will be pleased to hear that if you've always dreamed of creating your own game, it looks like Nintendo will be giving Mario fans the chance in the upcoming Super Mario Maker, set for release this September and will feature Amiibo 8-bit sprites. And on other news, Xenoblade Chronicles X will be releasing in December on the Wii U. The title that has been co-written by Gundam anime writer Kazuo Hayudo will be featuring a map five times the size of the original Xenoblade Chronicles where you will play as your very own customized avatar battling creatures both huge and small. Your skills, weapons and of course transformable mechs known as Skells will all play a part in this. Agent 47 is back in the new Hitman title revealed by Square Enix at E3 with a very slick theatrical trailer. No major details have been revealed about the title. If anything is to go by, Square Enix aims to bring a hard hitting spy thriller to the console. And in other news, Square Enix has finally revealed the long awaited Final Fantasy VII Remake. It has been almost 18 years since Final Fantasy's original release on the PlayStation. Though there are no solid details to if this is a new title, will be on an out and out remake or remaster, it's certainly been warmly received from FF fans. Naughty Dog's Uncharted 4 of Thieves End gave an initial look at the gameplay mechanics at this E3 Games, which features some great crowd control as Nathan bumps shoulder to shoulder with the locals, which as you can imagine quickly turns into a gun shooting his way through foreign streets, free running to safety and driving a four wheel drive only the way Nathan can. And in other news, South Park has announced a sequel from the popular title Stick of Truth. The new title, The Fractured Butthole, was announced at E3 Games, showcasing a torrent of laughs and adventures. The game takes the gang through many, many facets of the popular TV series. And finally, The Last Guardian is still coming to PS4. That's right, the title that has been almost 11 years in development, teased, sidetracked, pulled and rekindled, showed off a gameplay trailer that really does show the long gestated game might still turn a few heads. Microsoft came out swing in E3 games this year, leading the show with Halo 5 Guardians, giving a full walkthrough showcasing some new weapons, game mechanics and gave fans the chance to see how the story is to be driven. Adam Alt's Adrift has received its first E3 trailer. The game set on a space station that is doomed for destruction will have you battling for survival. The title has received huge media attention in part because of Adam Alt, who was the Microsoft director that lashed out at fans during Xbox One's initial release. Though nothing can be taken away, that this game does look interesting, and I'm sure will give fans the chance to try out their spacefaring exploration. Forza Motorsport 6 has released further details about the game features. You can expect such features as 1080p 60 frames per second, weather control, Daytona and Rio Raceway, and split screen play. The past week has been a very busy time for Microsoft itself, announcing partnerships with Valve, Oculus, and Steam VR. Microsoft took to the stage showcasing HoloLens. This device is part of their augmented reality program. Although the technology is young, many can see the application towards gaming. Users are able to create visuals in their own spatial environment, away from their console and manipulate it with features like voice control. Finally, EA has announced a teaser trailer to Mass Effect Andromeda. This title is a standalone story from the Mass Effect trilogy which will see a new captain in the N7 armor discover a new galaxy, battle across strange planets and of course wield the coolest battle tech. Thank you for watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with our news roundup, follow us on twitter page at tdsuk underscore tweets and of course for everything else go to throwingdigitalsheep.com